Hi there. Well, I've always loved Shelly devices because of the fact that they're so easily to locally control from Home Assistant. So I was really excited when I saw the new wall display that had been released. This includes a relay to control a light, but it also allows you to control Home Assistant from within the device on the big one. So having a look at the Shelly wall display, we've got a five amp relay built in, so you can actually control your light with this device. It has a temperature, humidity, and a light sensor. Also allows for power monitoring on devices and also operates as a thermostat. The size of this device is 85 by 85 by 30 millimeters. As can be seen in the wiring diagram here, we've got live and neutral coming in and we then have an external switch that can be used as well as the light that we can control. So having a look at the device up close, we've got our four pins here for live and neutral, as well as the switch input and the output to the light. On the other side, you can see here, we've got these pins and these pins effectively connected into the back of the screen itself. Now the screen has a really nice heavy feeling it's got this aluminium bezel all the way around. And then we've got this white with the screen on the inside. On the one side, we've got a small screw that holds it in. We've then got, I believe this could be a microphone. And then this would be the space for the humidity and temperature sensor to operate. It was immediately detected by the Shelly app. Connected up via the Bluetooth. And added it to a room. Next, I took the code from the device and entered it into the Shelly app and the display was ready to use. So having a look at the device, it's got a real feeling of quality. We can control the relay, which controls the light from there. We have our temperature and humidity, which are within the device. We then have this sensor, which is pulling in from the other Shelly's that are running within my system. It's automatically connected up and it's showing me the power consumption there. If we switch over to our home assistant, we can then go and we can control our lights from within home assistant. In order to install home assistant, I went to settings, network, and scroll down to the home assistant tab. It immediately started scanning for home assistant servers and found mine. I selected the little button for Simon home and went save. Now it does a restart. When it comes back up, you can see there's already a Home Assistant icon there. You click on it, and now all you need to do is go in and put your username and your password, and it's ready to go. Having a look at the wall display within Home Assistant, we can have control over that relay. We've also got access to the humidity, illuminance, and temperature, plus the input-output switch that I showed you. We've got our beta firmware showing as well as the normal firmware up to date and we can reboot the device from here. Some more entities we've got down here are external power on, cloud, restart required, RSSI and uptime. The screen is really easy to customize. All you do is scroll down from the top, go into edit and now you can start adding devices to your screen. So I can select from any of the devices in the Shelly network. So I could select my bedroom Shelly. We'll make that a single. And I can add in another device. Let's go and select from my, uh, for example, my temp HRV1. We'll put that as a single. Um, I can also go along here and I can add in a weather component. I can also go in here and add a music component. From so now that we've upgraded our screen, we've got our weather over here. We can control our relays and we can even play music from our local library. We can even add this to a Bluetooth speaker. And we've even got radio stations that we can add over here. So we could go into New Zealand, for example, and load some New Zealand radio stations. There we go, RNZ National. We can also access the web page for this device. You can access diagnostics here, the media library where you can upload MP3s as well as images to be displayed on the screen. Um, we can add things like components where we can have buttons running activities on the device. 
We can also access all of the settings, the firmware, device user interface, etc. from within here. And in the home page, we can actually go and create the thermostat here. And this will add another page on the device, which will then be able to control your thermostat as another page on the Shelly device. So now that I've added the thermostat, we can adjust that and I can also see my current temperature. I also found a really cool forum here where you can find all sorts of information about what people are doing with this device. Please let me know in the comments below what you thought of this device. And if you've enjoyed my content, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.